Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of The Drawing Board. My name is David Franklin, I'm your host, and thank you so much for joining us for our 30-day Tesseract Dice YouTube campaign, where for 30 days we're talking about the science behind our Tesseract Dice on Kickstarter. And today, we're going to be answering the question, where does lightning come from? And talking about Benjamin Franklin, his inventions, his scientific advancements, and how he helped us not to have our houses burned down all the time. Lightning is a very powerful natural occurrence and happens when there are different charges, both positive and negative, in the ground and sky, respectively. The negative charge builds up, forming lightning, and that is attracted to the ground. Lightning strikes the earth and tries to find the path of least resistance to the ground. Unfortunately, this means striking the highest object around for several square miles, which includes people standing in golf fields, ships in the oceans, or large buildings. So... In the time of Benjamin Franklin, there were a lot of fires and that was a major problem at the time. And Ben Franklin was an inventor who, like Nikola Tesla, worked a lot with lightning. And one of his greatest inventions was the lightning rod. Ben Franklin solved this by putting even taller metal poles on top of buildings which encouraged the power to travel to the pole through the pole, and into the ground. In this way, Franklin kept houses from being sat on fire. He also developed the first fire department. He also invented the first bifocals, but that's not really what we remember him for, even though he was a fantastic inventor. We remember him for a kite in a lightning storm, which is how we honored him in our Tesseract Dice Kickstarter campaign as an inventor when he discovered that lightning was composed mainly of electricity. Franklin was largely known as a diplomat and should probably be considered a true Renaissance man. He was a skilled communicator, a diplomat, a skilled writer, and the publisher of the Poor Richard's Almanac, which included poems that he wrote, proverbs, jokes, math, science, games, and more. Though we don't often give him the credit, Benjamin Franklin is another great inventor and deserves to be a part of our lineup of some of the greatest inventors of all time, even if that's not really what we remember him for. We simply remember him for a kite, and a key in a storm on a string. Thanks so much for watching today's episode of The Drawing Board. My name is David Franklin, your host, and thank you for joining us for a 30-day series where we talk about the science behind our Tesseract dice on Kickstarter. If you'd like to see some more of the dice, you can check out our Kickstarter link in the description below. And if you just want to stick around for some of the science on our YouTube channel, you can click the blue button in one of those corners over there and subscribe to us. And make sure to join us tomorrow when we're going to be talking about Albert Einstein and explaining his theory of relativity.